That is a nice mango pale ale. That is a, that is a nice mango pale ale. A lovely colour. Nice, nice, nice. I know some clown's going to say it's oxidised. <laughs> just because you can't. It's definitely not oxidised. <laughs> So we're at Ed's today, um, we are brewing a mango pale ale. Correct. Uh, it's one of uh, Tim's inventions. It is, it? yeah. We tinkered with it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we have. The IBU's were way too high initially. Um, you won't like that bit. But, but yeah, so we're, we're going to brew on the uh, on the old SS Protect mm. Brewmaster system, mm. which is Ed's, and I'll let him talk for it because I haven't got a Scooby-Doo how it works yet. Um, it's impressive. Though. You have an idea. How well, it I have. Yeah, I, it's it's yeah, no, I, I do have. I've never used it. I've seen it yeah. in in uh, in use, but never never done a proper. Yeah. Yet, so it should be, uh, should be good. Yeah. Well, you want me to talk through it now? Yeah. yeah. Well, well you what talk we'll do as we go. Should we? Yeah, yeah. Because we're good. we're at strike temperature, so I reckon we'll mash in, shall we? And yeah, then we can talk it through as we I go. Think so. Yeah. Mm. So you got to grips with the. Is that what you said? brew. I'm brewing, yes. I'm brewing system. That controls basically everything. This stuff here, ignore that, that was from a brew day a long, long time ago when I did it in permanent market. I think I explained that every time I hear it as well. I think I've heard that story twice. <laughs> <laughs> but we are using 3% oats today, so I'm going to use some rice holes. Um, I find it really helps with the, the mash bed. Yeah, it stops the tank. It really helps fill into fill the porridge. Yeah. I'm going to put These pumps work better when you actually have the valve open. <laughs> I've noticed. <laughs> it's always, yeah. always a good start, always. Right, there we go. Right, there. So, yeah, so we are now recircling through the mash bit. So we're coming out of here, out of the bottom of the mash, in through the pump there, out of the pump, into the bottom of the HLT, out through the, so then spins around through the HLT, out through the top of the HLT, and back through and there. And then all the while, we've got this whirlpooling, maintaining a nice temperature to make sure there's no hot spots. Okay, all right. No, we're good. Okay, the HLT will come back on now, so we're good. Oh, so you have to kind of always start each yeah, step yeah. of the program. Yeah, yeah, that's it. There we go. Cool. Uh, mine's on the left, yeah? Yeah. Funny. So we are going to switch to the recirc manifold and cut pump two off. It's no longer circulating. This is going to be very hot. Get through it now. That's all right. It goes ye olde recirc manifold. Sit that on our little grain bed, which is about I don't know inch and a half down below the surface of the wort. Tighten here, and then crack on again with pump number two. Purging the pump. There we go. And then I can dial it down to where we want it. Or about an inch of work above the green bed. I've seen a lot of people using these recirc manifolds, but then using this kind of size hose, and then they're kind of wondering why their recirc manifold sinks. And it's obviously because of the weight of this combined oh, with the right, weight of the yeah, recirc manifold. That's, that's a relatively yeah. slim bit of uh, silicon. So you might lose a little bit of heat, but it's not. Yeah. It's worth I mean, so to much. That's the top on it. Isn't yeah, it? exactly. Bang on the old money as well on the, um, the temperature. So, uh, Do you remember? So the the foundations of this beer was when we I did that mango experiment in the yeah. one litre batches, and. Um, the juice I used was that Rubicon filth. Yeah. You remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then but we didn't use a Rubicon on this one, did we? Well, you screwed around with the recipe and put oats in it. I, the oats wasn't in my original recipe, I think. I run it all by you first nah, and said, yeah, go oh, for it. Nah. Yeah, but the oats are one of the heads. Look at that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? Yeah. Look at these. Oh, sexy. Because they're, they're much better than the other ones, because the other ones were huge. <laughs> I felt like burning my hands. They're incredibly <laughs> well, I might cut them down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Right. Right, I'm gonna. Cut all off. I'm good to go. The old squirter. Turn it up a little bit. Visible. Comes up. That is actually. The world. Oh, nice and steady. So, 
So yeah, we're transferring out of the match time into the boiler kettle. And then pretty sure, sorry, pretty sure that we're gonna start doing the sparge. All the while, and then yeah, and maybe five, 10 minutes, we'll, we'll crank on the old element in the boiler kettle and get our boiling. Cool, good go. Yeah. So now we are going to um, shut off the whirlpool with the HLT, and then I'm gonna, so it's coming out the bottom of the HLT into the pump, then it's gonna go into the bottom of the Herms coil. So that's now gonna be water transferring through the pump, through the Herms coil, out of the Herms coil, and then back into the match time to sparge. So um, and that'll in turn clean the Herms coil. That's the plan. We am open all this up again to start our sparge. I think we're more gonna be led, at this point, I like to be led more by what we've got in the boil kettle. And then it does, even when you've got a load of liquid in there, it does take a while for all of it to drain out mm -hmm. into the boil kettle anyway, so I like to sort of shut it off and wait for a minute to see if it I would sort of increases the, yeah, the, the liquid level. It makes level sense to kettle. be led by yeah. your boil amount rather than Absolutely. the other. other. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. 16 grams of Azaka, 16 grams of Equinox. Yep. It's, it's a lovely, mango, it is a lovely fruity tropical aroma though. What do you think about the bitterness? Because I, I think it's about, I think it's about right. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd go with that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it any bitter than that. You wouldn't want it any more than that. It's 30 IBU, and I is wouldn't it? want it any more bitter. Yeah. Is that what the lab said? Yeah. <laughs> oh, recycling. So you said you were going to research. Yeah. Now, what's the benefits? Benefit, Recycling yeah. during the boil. Um, but obviously, you need a pump that can handle extremely hot work, which these um, riptides can, fortunately. Yeah. But um, I like to do it during the boil. It keeps the trube and the, any hot matter off the element, it stops scorching that kind of issue. Yeah, you're, um, and also, I suppose you get a more even temperature throughout yeah. it because you're recircling it, not just relying. Well, because we're going to be we, uh, recircling at the end anyway for the, for the whirlpool, aren't well, we? That's true, yeah. So, um, there's no extra hassle. Mm. Mm. Dandy, what are we doing? Chilling. <laughs> he knows it, son. <laughs> so we're uh, chilling the water, apparently at 90 degrees. And all the excess um, hot water straight into the match tun, which has been emptied out. I'm going to use it for cleaning. I say we, this is a boil we. <laughs> Good boy. Gandry, what, what have we got here? So we have got mango juice. Uh, not from concentrate. Nice. And we need, I believe, for the 40 litres back, we need uh, 4 litres of it. Okay. 250 ml. 18 of them, I believe, if nice. my maths is right. We're um, a couple of beers in now. We are a couple we, of beers in. Uh, we have actually got twice the amount we need. Um, but based off the recipe terms given us, uh, it's two litres per 20 litres of beer. So, uh, oh, yeah. 18 of these into the fermenter. Falkington's, no expense spared. Yeah, big old glug there. That's lovely. It is lovely. Yeah. It's lovely. Thank you, at last. There's not as much mango flavour though as that Rubicon. No, I know. Yeah. Why would that be? Was it, was it the same amount per litre? Same amount, 100 really? ml per litre. Yeah. That's really weird, isn't and it? And what really annoys me is I blew my wad on that juice. It cost me an absolute fortune. Still got a crate in there. So you folks at home, buy cheap every time. <laughs> Nicholas Cage in the rock. <laughs> Foamy. We shake them first? Okay, sure. <laughs> I think so. I mean, we have got a lot of sanitizer foam in there. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Two thousand years later. <gasps> That's mangoey goodness in there. Let's do this. It's where I get beer all over me. Or work. All pre sanitized. Beautiful. Right now, we are good to go. So that and there and there and there and there. Right, we're good to go. For the mango and the uh, work mixes.
the time. I'd like to see a hot cone, but I don't think we're going to. There's too much protein in there. And seal the protein and look like a pillowy kind of protein. Action. A little bit of the old pure oxygen in a gandy. The connects are up. So we've got 40 litres in there, along with the four and a half litres of mango juice. We haven't added the we haven't added the yeasty boys yet. They're just about to go in. We're just gonna give it a little burst of oxygen for 60 seconds. We're gonna go for. No spray in our legs. 420 billion yeasty boys. Looking to party. Just a couple of lads. Happy Gandhi. Oh, sanitized. <laughs> We are going in with the full two litres. We don't care. Nope. Most of it's going to go in the fermenter, hopefully. God, yeah. It's got it. It's a lot of carbonation. Oh, yeah. Isn't there? You like Did it? you say that's the right amount of carbonation? Yeah, spot on. Really? <laughs> well, you're Ooh. okay, Annie. That's pretty fizzy. <laughs> I, I, I have a sneaking suspicion. I know why it's a little bit overcarbed. Because there's a regulator over there that's a bit. Did you fuck <laughs> another brew? <laughs> it wasn't <in> me. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Is that my one? Go on. Oh, well. Can I get no, a flake for that? When you drink it, have you tried some yet? Can you, when you say that it's quite highly carbonated, because I don't think it is. Well, I think it's about right. Wow, well, is it? Yeah. Gandhi, I said it's about right, okay? You know, my, my expectations about a, a, a fruited pale or fruited beer full stop mm. are a bit different now because, you know, you get used to. So many with lactose, so many milkshakes, uh, like the juice foresights. Yeah, juice foresights. Mm. I can't even say that properly. Juice foresights of this world. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get used to the, just that that sweetness, don't you? And you yeah. kind of, you know, but it's. Um, it's a lot to be said about having like a subtle. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, fruity. definitely. And I think, to be honest, that's probably if people were to vote, that's probably what people would want. The mm. average British craft beer drinker yeah, would yeah. want it subtle as opposed to. Mm. A punch in the face. Yeah. A mangoey punch in the face. Yeah. <laughs> it's got quite a it's not it's quite a nice dry-ish finish mm. to it, which is quite yeah, nice, yeah. which I quite like. Yeah. It's, um... Like I said, I slightly regret I, I wish I'd stuck with the Rubicon idea. I didn't because I thought I mean that Rubicon is filth. It yeah. just I thought yeah, go his... go with a decent juice, hundred percent juice. Because that's all going to be, it's all natural, isn't it? Whereas mm. Rubicon, I'm guessing there's a lot of unnatural... Oh yeah, there's like a laxathan A, laxathan B, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So that's probably what sticks around. And also, there was no sugar in it. It was, it was, it was sugar-free. What was the Rubicon? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there so, we go then. So it's all crap that won't... Yeah, and I bet there was concentrate and all sorts of stuff that yeah. just sort of hangs around. But we love that beer. I mean, I'll, 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 we'll interject some footage on here just so you yeah. can see. It had a very weird fermentation, I remember, because it was in a... It was in a demijohn, just that because it, I did six litres, and it was in a demijohn on its own, one litre in the bottom, and it was it was ultra clear, right, mm. pretty much from day one. Okay. Whereas obviously the the other the other the other um, demijohn was all kicking up and doing its usual thing. Yeah. So that that made me think it was a bit weird. Plus it was orange. Oh, okay. So yeah, I brew with filth, people. Brew with filth. <laughs> yeah, I think the the recipe's all good. I'd say use fake mango juice. <laughs> Would you? You'd actually <laughs> yeah. say that. Okay, yeah. interesting. Or a little bit. I quite like to do the exact same beer again, but using Rubicon. Really? Yeah. Or would you put a bit more in? Yeah, I reckon I would. Then on that bombshell. <laughs> on that bombshell. <laughs> so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure. Um, you don't know how that was. It's about to smack this up and get around with it. Excuse me, mate. The video could end with me glassing in on the floor. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right, yeah, of course, I'm chucking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did say my garage door, yeah. That's